Shoo! What's going on, folks? Start the day off. We are in the off-grid cabin. I just got done putting all the furniture back. Look at that floor. That is a nice floor. We just got done fixing the floor. And look at this. We've got the EcoFlow Wave. Can you hear it? It is blowing ice-cold air inside the cabin, keeping me nice and cool as we get to work to get this place fixed up. That's right, folks. We finally got the floor fixed enough. There's a couple worse, but not much. In fact, I actually used the EcoFlow extra battery and the original battery here to flatten out. What I did was I pulled all the furniture away from the walls. We took a little multi-tool buzzer and buzzed a little trench around the whole thing. Just basically taking like a quarter, an eighth to a quarter inch off around the whole thing. Put a bunch of weight on it like this guy right here and it's back and better than ever. It looks good. Now I just got done putting everything back and like I said, I've been using the EcoFlow Wave to keep the cabin cool. You guys have seen they have sponsored our videos in the past and they are today's sponsor as well. It is the only solution that I have found to keep the off-grid cabin ice cold so you can actually enjoy it right now in the heat of the summer. If you guys don't know what EcoFlow is, they make portable power stations, solar panels, AC units, and a bunch of other awesome products for on-job site uses and outdoor activities. These two units right here, this is the Delta Max. This is a giant battery that can literally run almost anything, including this. This is the EcoFlow Wave. This is the AC unit. And with those two guys combined, you can go anywhere on the planet and have ice cold air blowing right on you. The awesome thing about EcoFlow is they're having a prime day in July. So if you've ever thought about getting one of their products, now is the time. Some of their products are up to $900 off and discounted by almost 50%. So you guys can click the link down in the description down below to find out more about their prime day sale and see specific sales that they're having for the prime day sale in July. Huge shout to EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that allow me to AC cool the entire off-grid cabin and allow me to do what I do every single day, which makes videos for you guys at home to enjoy so with that being said enjoy the rest of today's video Shoo! what's going on folks lucy don't touch the fence lucy don't touch it don't don't lucy do not touch do not touch the fence whatever you do do not touch the fence no or me because you're wet no you're damn lay down well folks uh welcome back we got a special video i'm gonna go ahead and turn this fence off for now lucy lucy no no loot why is that's why you don't bring a bird dog down why did she just you don't bring a bird dog down to the farm. Lucy, Lucy, hey, she ain't listening to me. She never listens to me. Lucy, hey, quit, Lucy, quit harassing all the animals. Well, we have a special day today. Today's exciting. We are getting a brand new, actually it's not new at all, it's actually used. It's actually very used. 2016, I think, but it's a new side-by-side. -side. But I know you guys are like, Flair, why are you buying another side-by-side? -side? You have like 16 of these things. Why do you need another one? There, listen, Rick, there's a reason why we're getting this one. This one has a very special purpose, and we'll tell you more about it later, but you'll have to see it. I've never had it before. It's To me, it's one of a kind. I've never bought it. I've never even seen one in person, and it was in Oklahoma, and I bought it without even looking at it, and then I sent Kirk, the hay guy. He does like hot shotting. He was in the area. He picked it up, and he's going to bring it down to the ranch today. And so we are going to get a brand new side by side. It's going to be sick. It's going to be something that we've never had before. It's going to be the work vehicle on the farm. Instead of having, this guy's not bad. I actually like this one. Um, some of the other ones are just a little too fancy for some of the farm work that we have going on. But why, why are you out? We have a loose chicken. Do we count these guys? Lucy, 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 why is she like this? Lucy, hey, I'm going to put you back in the mule. Lucy, why are we bring her? Hunting dog down know. to the bird farm. She's Don't just going to harass everything. Everything's going to be freaking pissed. All right, this is off. Yeah, this fence. If you hear the dog yelp today, probably because they touched the fence, but they need to learn. We almost need to put one around that, and that'll teach them to not harass the birds. Because at some point, we got either that or we just never bring them down. But, I mean, I like their farm dogs. We like having them out here. BJ! Uh, morning, buddy. All right, so we have one out for sure, and there's supposed to be nine, so hopefully we have eight left in here. Is there any in the box? Oh, yeah. Is there eggs in there? Those three are all last night. Oh, was someone didn't wipe bread. No, that's a fake one, I think. Yeah, we'll so we have three, three in total. Three in total. Yeah, that's well, not, one that's not bad. Is there, th why are you guys laying outside the box? Only one, though. All right, let bad. these suckers out. Let's count. Hopefully we got eight, because otherwise we would have lost another one. I don't know how that one got out. I came down here at 10 p.m. and locked him in the coop. I guess I didn't do a head count, but he was out. So we got one. Come on. Two. Nope, no, back in here. So we got three out. We got four out. Five out. Six out. Seven out. Eight out. That's it. We don't... We didn't lose any. Wow, we didn't lose any. We gotta go wrangle that chicken. So 
Do you got, we didn't, sh huh? BJ, he is, well listen, imagine being one guy surrounded by nine women. You, you wouldn't be pissed, would you? No. BJ's hanging out. We did put this fence up off camera. We just did it up yesterday. It's not a huge deal. I mean, we try to show you guys all the farm chores and stuff, but there's some stuff that happens on days we're not even filming or we get done with the video and it's like, all right, let's just get this knocked out. So we got, this is an electric netting, poultry netting. Hopefully these chickens stay. The problem Lucy. is, Lucy, hey, Lucy, no, do not harass the chickens. I'm going to turn this fence on. You're going to learn real quick why you shouldn't harass the chickens. So, uh, uh, the birds can obviously fly out because we lost one. You have a couple options. One, you just trust that they behave and it's not a big deal. Or you cut their flight feathers. The only problem with cutting their flight feathers is if a predator does come, they're just, I mean, they're sitting down. You know, we, what about like the bird netting over the top? You do like posts. You, you, you could put like a huge aviary in here. That would prevent it from anything. I mean, we, Lucy and Millie, why are you guys, they're still harassing the quail. I don't understand. But I mean, only one got out. That's to me, that's not that bad. I feel like out of what, 10? I don't know, I guess I don't know about BJ. Nine. Yeah, well, I was saying counting BJ, but I was like, I don't know if BJ necessarily counts, but he just, he just does his thing. So we got to wrangle this guy and the sheep, what were you saying? When you came down last night, they were all in the coop, right? Yeah, yeah, I, and, I locked, and I locked them, yeah. Cause I came down at 10 o'clock cause we let them out on pasture for the first time yesterday. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna come down and lock them up. So I locked them, I didn't do a head count. I missed one and he's over there somehow. So, um, but we did put a new fence in. You guys saw that there's a gate over there. She's bleeding. A little. She's bleeding. Uh, ooh. Do we need to cut that tag off? Could. It might have gotten caught on pliers. something. You have some pliers in there? Bullet. Yeah, we might we might yeah. have to. Big Sheila, what's the matter, buddy? You all right, mama? <laughs> we need to put another band on baby's tail at some point, too. <laughs> it hadn't fallen off. All right, come here. Oh, we, we're going to have to go in there. All right, well, let's go in there and try to wrangle a chicken, cut this tag off. We're going to let the sheep out on pasture. When we go down to the ranch, we go side to side and come back. We'll pull the sheep off pasture so that way they have a few hours up there to graze some nice fresh grass. And then, hey, 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 Lucy, 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 no. You, yeah. You're gonna get in the meal. I ain't, I ain't trusting you anymore. You lost your bird privileges. You get in there. Millie, you get in there too. Go ahead. Yeah, you guys are both not, you can't have your bird privileges anymore. You need to learn how to be nice. So they're in there. We gotta get this guy. We gotta cut the tag off. Like I said, we're gonna put the sheep in the pasture. Then we'll come down, or we'll come back after we go to the ranch and pull the sheep off. So we, you wanna like slowly introduce fresh grass when they're used to on hay, otherwise they'll blow. Um, and they've, we've been giving them mineral, magnesium, stuff like that. And then we'll show you, we'll kick the big animals up on the pasture and we're doing just rotational grazing. All right, buddy. Too bad. Yeah, you got a little beat up last night, didn't you? Were you fighting them raccoons off? All right, buddy. That you go, you fun. go with your friends. They can't fly great. They no. glide. I'm surprised they got out. They just kind of glide. Yeah, they just kind of glide. Okay, anyways. All right, let's cut this tag off. Big mama. Give me that ear, mama. Benji, you going to give the teeth a little squeeze? Oh, suck. Whoa, suck. Really? He took it far. Yo, big mama. Big mama. Trying to help you. Big mama. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> good, good. Good her? stop. Good got her? Stop. I got her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, Benji, you got a clipper. Yeah, I know. There it is. Fall off? Yep. Uh, is it loose? It's in there still. Yeah, it's, no, out. it's all out. It out. Yeah, it's just good. Yeah, yeah she's good. Go, oh, mama. She just got stuck on something yeah, she and it caught it on something and ripped it up a little bit. You good? Let's got my ass kicked. Yeah, you good. Sheep! Come get some grass. Come on, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, banjo. <laughs> oh, God. We're good. She's quick! Oh. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You get her? Hi, buddy. How's oh, the life? This little one. There you go. Alright, we'll leave her alone. I don't want to... We got one out. The rest of them will figure it out. They'll figure it out. Alright, well, let's go check on the birds inside. You letting the raccoons know? You're not messing with them? Yeah, or you, what? you let them know what they're going to face if they get caught. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh yeah, we gotta dump their water out. They're looking good though. They're, I'd say they're just about ready. We might give them a couple more days and then I think we'll be able to take them out of the tub and let them hang out in this, like free range in this thing. Look how big this one is Dude, compared to like the rest. That's a mega. This one's oh, yeah. giant. That's a big one. Yeah, we'll probably, a couple days, I mean, we'll probably could do it now. We'll give them a couple more days since they're already, they're here, they're comfortable. Weather's pretty stable. So I'm not worried about like the, the temperature fluctuating. I think they're kind of past that stage, so. I think we're just gonna give them give them some water, but they're getting big. And then I think we kick them out, put some shavings on the ground like we did with the last turkeys and chickens. And once they're big enough to get in a chicken tractor, then we should be able to pasture them. I mean, they're, how old are they now? Like three weeks, two weeks? Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. And they can probably pasture at six. six. They said they said they'll be six pounds at six weeks, Banjo. Can you believe wow. that? 
That's crazy. I'm not sure if I believe it or not. But six pounds in six weeks is a lot. I'm sure that's if you feed them high protein crumbles constantly. They have to eat a lot. I, I say I want to pasture them, mm -hmm. slow their growth so it's just really natural. And so we may end up keeping them for eight weeks, ten weeks. I don't know what it's going to be. But anyways, just want to give you guys a quick update. All right, well, meat chickens are good. Now check on the quail. You see any dead ones? No, no, no. Nope. Turkeys, no. Chickens, no. Everything's, we're doing good so far. These guys, look how they're getting fully feathered. See them chickens? Those turkeys. Those turkeys are getting it too. We're probably, what do you think? Do you think we're about one week or do you think two weeks out from kicking these guys out on pasture? Maybe two? Maybe two. Two, just to be safe. Yeah, let them let them get their flight feathers so they can at least get away a little bit, but. Big boy Ralph, how are these guys doing? Doing good. Getting, getting the old fly spray on them? What happened there? <laughs> Dookied against oh, the fence. Oh, Carol. She backed it up on the fence, <laughs> Carol. What the hell, Carol? She, do you not realize there's fresh grass? They're never, I don't think they're ever gonna figure that out. But look, the old shade shack. There's no mold, there's no pond scum, there's nothing growing in that. The old shade shack worked. We just gotta build another one for these guys. Cause this is, uh, look how, see, look how dirty that water is already. That's only like a couple days old. Hey, buddy, why don't you go in the fresh grass? I promise you're gonna like it, I promise. That's All right, nice well, clean. what's that? That's nice and clean, I like Yeah, it. the old shade shack. We gotta build a couple more of these little suckers. So, the animals are doing good, big animals are doing good, chickens are good, quails are good, our layers are laying. Everything's good on the farm. So, anyways, we are running a little late right now. We are gonna head down to the ranch and get the brand new side-by-side, -side and then come back here, and we'll put her to the test. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, well, we made it. We're gonna pull forward a little bit. What's going on here? Well, wow, what's, what's, what do we got going on this? How's this gonna work? You think it's gonna work good or no? Yeah, you can pull forward just a little bit. Just pull forward a little bit? Here, I'll let you do the driving. I'll do it. Wow, this isn't the first time I've seen this thing. Did you take her for a couple of rips before you loaded her? No, the cop showed up. What, the cop? Why, did you get pulled over? <laughs> no. Oh. The guy didn't, uh... Wait, why'd the cop show up? The security, security system, system off? Oh, so you they thought you were breaking yeah, in? And the guy showed up, pulled it out, and said, oh, that's Put her in drive. What is he doing? First time driving? It's first time. Yeah. Oh, I'm not having anything to do with this. Kurt says we're gonna put it in neutral and push. Dude, really? What? That's you got it. There, that D for drive. Wait, what? D for drive, Junior? Uh, that's Are you in? in? You're in park right. You're in park right now. Yes. Okay. See what happens. Cut. Shut your doors. Yeah. Shut, the, shut door. the door. Shut your doors. How do you? How do, all right, put it in park and turn it off. How did we break a car? Oh. Oh. I'm guessing it was your door open. They. Oh, hang on now, Junior. You're good. I don't know. We brought this thing. So well, let's get a new truck. You want the, you want to put this truck on the bango cell? Because I'm I'm done with this thing already. Wait, is this really how we're doing? Okay. Yeah. What's the worst that's gonna happen? I don't know. I just bought it. I haven't even driven this thing. Look, we got the old six by six. This thing's sick. This thing is sweet. That is the farm hand freaking rig. They got lights in here. Huge custom bumper put on this Dang, sucker. Light. What? I didn't even see what size is it. Like a five eight hundred? That's not bad. That's like it's not quite as big as some of the other ones. But toolbox right here. nice toolbox. Yeah. I like dude. The six by six looks yeah, sick. It looks sick. All right, so we're pushing. Hey, you're good over there too. He's going. Is he straight, looking straight? Straight as I can tell. Stand on the trailer. Yeah, you're going. Right. You're okay. Good. Yeah, you get back tires on. Still looking good up front. Looking okay. Oh, go oh fast. God. Go fast, guys. Do you, you want to shove it or pull it forward? It's really, really close. Just well, get in your truck and back the, tr back the truck yeah, back up. Back it up. Woo! Beautiful. Wow. I don't want to do that ever again. Like, I mean, that was. Really? We made it. Let's get her unloaded and go take it for a test drive. Stay tuned. Damn it. I think drives like a piece of shit. All right, we better. We'll get out of your way. All right, farmer. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this sucker's got some get up and go. Well, we're back at the house. 
and we got the six by six. We left it at the ranch for a couple days because we had a plan. We were sitting there thinking, oh, I put, I put on my sunglasses. Where'd those suckers go? I lost those suckers. This, those brakes locked up. There's no gravel here. Look, them brakes got it, yeah. son. So this side by side is for Papa Beefcake and Nate. So Nate's like the farm hand. He'll take care of the animals, kind of help Papa Beefcake do projects, stuff like that. And I wanted to get them a dedicated vehicle for farm work. Now, we probably still will use this for videos, but more than likely, it, they're gonna be using it because they'll load it with tools and whatever, and then we come by with our YouTube shenanigans and empty it all out and put our junk in there, and I'm like, take our junk out, put your junk in. And what happens is when they were running around the property fixing stuff, you know, fixing the fence, look at Ralph. Looks like a freaking giraffe out there. When, he, when Ralph breaks the fence and needs fixed, they go down there and they've got half the tools they need. They don't have everything. And I was like, listen, I say we surprise them with this. They've been working their butts off and we are going to give them, we'll give as in still mine, but this is gonna be their baby. They can rig up however they want. Although this is a pretty sweet side-by-side. -side. This is a this is a YouTuber side-by-side. -side. This ain't a work side-by-side. -side. Now this right here is a work side-by-side -side. and I have not really given you guys like a full tour. I'll be honest, it's used and it's, yeah, it's not it's, it's not it's it's used it's used and it's not slightly used no it's it's used it's used we didn't used. i couldn't find a brand new six by six okay i wasn't being cheap i couldn't find one but this is a six by six it's an 800 a couple things wrong with it the e-brake doesn't really work so you you just roll down hills but i don't know did we give we didn't give them a full walk around did we no. it's been two days i was like i don't remember what we filmed but look we got light bars and they you, all work those yeah. all work look at that see them lights you got light bars so this bumper you can put I mean, a couple dudes up I mean, you can get a lot of weight on that. So we, what we did is we had to wait a couple days. Oh, Ralph is running. Oh, what's he doing? He was galloping. We had to wait. The reason was so we kept to the ranch because Bobby Cake and Nate wouldn't be there. They took the day off early, so we went down the ranch and got it. I also ordered a bunch of tools and toolboxes off of Amazon, and they're finally here. So we have everything kind of unboxed and ready. They took off. We came in, and now we're, we got to outfit this sucker. But that's, I mean... I don't, is there anything else to this thing? I mean, I feel like I didn't. First mod we what do we got it? Oh, we already got our gloves in there. It's a good, nice lighter. So there's there's some stuff we were using at the ranch, but this little toolbox back here, which is nice. We got little tools. See this? This is what they're used to. Pop beef king, those guys. They got bags like that. And that's what we got from the ranch. Just a bunch of miscellaneous tools, but it's not like I want like legit tools. And the nice thing about this is you have a full bed. You can dump this sucker, can't you? Yeah. Give her the old dump. See, you have a full dump bed, but then you also have a toolbox, and then we got another toolbox that we're gonna mount to the front. So two tool oh well, English is tough. Two tool boxes. One, the one in the front's gonna be metal, and that one's gonna be designed for power tools, stuff that you might need to kind of take in and out from weather and stuff like that. I mean, it should be hopefully weatherproof. The back ones are gonna be more storage, where you put like ratchet straps, chains, binders, stuff like that. But then again, you have a whole bed. So otherwise, if we use this one, see this bed right here is the same size as this but there's no toolboxes, Banjo. Yeah. So where are you putting your tools? Exactly. In there. Well, then where are you gonna put everything else? So you gotta have one of these bad boys. So uh, we're gonna get it kind of outfitted and ready to go. What's the payload on this sucker? I was kind of impressed. It's 2,000 pounds. You Shit. can sit right here. Cause two yeah. You could put a hay bale on this sucker. Literally, Sheesh. you could put a whole pound of feet in here. So, I mean, so give you the walk around. It's it's a used machine. It ain't like the fanciest, fanciest thing ever. It's an 800 size, so it's a little smaller on the engine than, like this is a thousand. Yeah, HD10, that's a thousand. 800 is enough. Like I said, this is a farm vehicle. It's a work vehicle. It ain't like it's supposed to be like the fanciest, whatever. But your daily driver, there's no doors. There's not really a windshield. There's like a half windshield. I love it though. You jump in and out. It's quick. It's supposed to be quick, efficient, just a mobile farmhand workstation. So we can still use it. If we're like, hey, we're going to go work on a project today, then, you know, we can take this. It'll have every tool that we possibly need. So, Manjo, you ready? Yep, you can pull. Really? That's the first one we have with yeah, mirrors. mirrors. So we ain't got no. Really? I mean, it'd probably be on for about a week until someone knocks it off. Yeah, but... probably. You want to pull? Should we pull her in the shop? And I want to get her rigged out, and then we gotta. I don't want to break it, but dude, we gotta give her hell. Do you see? How... I mean, we okay. peeled out back there. Yeah, I feel like we get to do top speed test. Should we do it before or after we rig it out? Probably after. You think so? I'd say before. Really? You want to rig? It's all you. Come on, man. No, no Banjo's got it. It's yours. You just bought it. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. Though. I don't want to break it. You at least paid hey, the for best it. Part about it is, <laughs> it's, right used, it's already part yeah. broken. So get in. But do we? Should we fly or no? Yeah. yeah. Let's fly. What if we break it though? But what if we had to do it with all the tools and tools go everywhere? I mean, at least it's better for content. If it breaks, then at least. Yeah. No? All right, fine. Let's build it. Should we? I Let's say we build it. Build, build it. it. Right. We here's what we gotta do. We gotta build it, and then we need to like. I feel like we need to act like a NASCAR pit crew. Like, the fence is broken, and then we like time us. How quick can we go fix the fence? And come back. True. 
pasture. Oh, here's you know the animals saying? are all up in pasture. I'll go down there and cut a panel loose, and then you guys. Oh have to God! Gets oh, out. oh! I'm down. Oh God! Down. That's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be intense. I don't know about that. No, yeah, I'm just gonna cut a random one. You guys gotta go fix. I actually kind of low key oh, like the really idea. Nice. We need like radios and yeah. be like, oh, we, shh, we gotta go out shh, over, and then Banjo and I are like, woo woo. We can put a light on top and you get those little dome lights. If for some reason, farmhand is now an emergency vehicle. But I like the idea. That's a good idea. Okay, so that'll be here. That'll be even though I guess you just told us what would happen. But the test would be if we rig it out and you don't tell us what problem. And then it's like, do we have the tools for it? Because if we don't, then we fail the test. True. I so, could come up with something. You, you, could you come up with something? Oh, yeah. oh god. I like the fence panel idea because then Ralph would just be ripping. We gotta wrangle him. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's we gotta pull this thing in the shop. Pull her in the shop, Banjo. This is good. This is this is gonna be good. They're gonna have a NASCAR pit crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like it. It's what the whole idea is to design this so Papa Beefcake and Nate can work efficiently, effectively, quick, have all the tools that they possibly could ever need at their fingertips. So that way it's like bam, bam, bam and get everything done so they can work on other projects. Bam, here are the tools that we got unboxed. I mean, these are brand, brand new. Get them, Banjo. I like it. Look at that thing. <laughs> I like it. You give her hell right there. A lot, way more than I should have, but it was cool. I got it all the way from Oklahoma. We got her up here and she's, uh, dude, she just looks. I just like the six by. I, I don't know. I think it's cool. Yeah, this thing worked good. What did the guy try to sell you this on? What he what he, what he said he put two deer on the front of it, and I was like, "What's the bed for? What, what do you have in the bed? I don't know. Maybe he has some stuff." Okay, so yes, so this black toolbox. Yeah, nice. well, let's let's go through let's go through what we got here, banjo. This guy. Brand new. Saw, brand, brand spank new saw, impact, three eighths impact, kind of an in-betweener. Yeah. So it's like, it ain't gonna take off a giant rusty tractor lug, but more than likely it'll be able to tighten whatever nut you got. And then we've got an angle grinder. We are always grinding everything. Are with these all new? Brand spank new. Dang. So they're getting surprised with a new side-by-side -side and brand new tools for the farm hand work. So brand new grinder, I feel like we're always using grinder, cutting chicken, chicken wire. This is your three eighths. It's a nice compact set. So it's not, you know, if you got like a random lug, you, know, you might not be able to get it. But for the most part, yeah. this should have everything you need. And it's 3 8 which fits the 3 8 impact oh, gun. And I got a deep set, because yeah. you always, always want to go deep on it. So we got everything we need there. So that's this thing's ready. So if you need to tighten anything, take anything off, change a tire, it pretty much, oh, rip. It pretty much, this thing's covered in freaking, someone lube this sucker up. It should be able to get off. If you got a giant lug, probably not, but more than likely you're not, you're gonna have what you need. Then we've got, this is what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Heavy duty banjo, this is nine gauge wire. Wow. You ain't twisting it with your fingertips. No. But you know what else is not gonna break it? Is the animals. Ralph. Ralph, so this is like legitimate, huge heavy duty wire. So we can fix fence panels. This, I got this, which I'm not sure if we'll need it, but this is to cover the rim. Oh. It's like waterproofing. Yeah, so yeah. we can test it if it's waterproof or not. I mean, it should be pretty water resistant, but like I said, this box is where we want to keep the power tool. So, you know, obviously don't want water in it. So we got that just in case. Brand spanking new drill bit set. Full yeah. set. All my sets are missing bits. So I don't want to hear it. Okay, this is full set of drill bits. That way they've got everything they need. Full brand new set of impact uh, bits. I don't know if you want to call them impact, but that's made for like a little small impact. So full set right there. It's got every single torque bit you could possibly imagine. Ready to go. Then we've got some bungees. You never know when you're gonna need a little bit of bungee. T-post driver, nice. brand new powder coated. Bang. Bing, bing, bing. So that, that thing's ready. Most of the farm hand chores include fixing fence because beef, well actually Milk Toast Construction built the first one and we're paying the price for it. And then we've even got, look at this little doohickey. Dang. It's a little one so hand saw it's cute. Yeah, it's a little one handed sawzall. It's again, you're not going to go build a cabin with it, but it's like you need to buzz off a, a rusty screw or nail that's locking pieces of wood together. Then you, at least you've got it. So we've got that. I got a whole bunch of extension cords. We're always needing those. Always. And that's not for this though. This is the extension cords, what I want in the other toolbox. So we got extension cords. What else did I buy? Ratchets. We got ratchet straps. You always need those. And again, that'll be for the back toolbox. I think chains, ratchets, binder, stuff like this would be the back. This one is just going to be straight up power tools. You know, we got fly spray. So you could keep a jug of this at all times. Like I bought pretty much everything you could possibly think of. And I also got a brand new drill and a brand new tiny little impact guy. Nice. Little driver. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what else you would need. No. You need to fix some stuff. And you got this nice little bag, but we don't we don't need this bag. I said all the power tools can go in here. I think, is that it? Did I forget anything? If yeah, Banjo, you don't have the tool you need there. This sucker has hopefully everything you could. Oh, hang on. Do we have. No. Come on, come on, come on. No, you. There it is. This will have everything that you need. You've got all your hex bits. Look, you even got a little saw. Whoa. You go cut down a little tree or something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hammer, pliers, 
level. I mean, this is like a, all you know, in dude, one. yeah, basically an all-in-one. I think the only, I don't think I ordered them. I think I plan just to steal some from us. The only thing I would get multiples of are fencing pliers mm -hmm. and, you know, stuff like, like you know, these, these do hickeys. Yeah. These we might have like a loose set, but this, this big binder right here, yeah. I mean, it's got sockets, it's got everything. I think, oh, then I think I bought a tape measure somewhere. Oh. Oh, yeah, duct tape. Oh, oh, right. oh and, yeah. Oh, box cutters. Yep. Oh, and Sharpies. Yep. Oh, and then I got screws. Yep. Yep. Okay, all that. And tape yep. measure. Millie, what else could we want? Well, I don't what know. else could we want, Millie? I think we got everything. So, here's the plan. We are going to try to find a way to take this nice metal tool, but we haven't even seen if it fits yet. Yeah. Dude, look how perfect that is. Yeah, it's like love. So, I think we just drill holes. Yeah. I want to center the sucker up. Gotta make, gotta make it look perfect. Oh, here. This is fine. It's still doing it. Yeah, I feel like it's not bad. Go in here and grab all your power tools. We even, you have to comment down below if you think we can pull it off. I don't think we can pull it off today. But we talked about all these power tools need batteries. We talked about trying to find a way to rig up a solar panel on this that then wires into a charger. So you have like a trick, always a trickle charge battery. Now grabbing new batteries is not, like if you use it a bunch, I'll tell the boys, hey, swap the batteries. We have plenty, we have like 200 batteries. You have but plenty of batteries over there. I, but it is a it, It's a decent idea, like having a solar, pretty slick. All right, so speaking of tools, are we gonna, shoot, we probably shouldn't use the brand new tools. You gotta let them use the brand new yeah, tools sure. to build this. The, you're comment about like charging batteries. I, yeah. saying, I think DeWalt makes a battery charger that plugs into like a 12 volt car socket. Oh. What if we just ran a car outlet oh. to the side by side? And then there, we is, just... there a, there's their socket? Most of the time there is. Yes, good so idea. What if we just got one of those and ran it? Yes, here like smart, it. Yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah, no, I like that idea. We'll, we'll have to order that. Yeah. All right, so we need a drill, drill bits, and then we're gonna have to put a bolt and a nut with probably a lock washer beneath it to secure this bad boy. So we'll load it with tools. Pop Beefcake and Nate will be here tomorrow, so we're gonna try to get it all completely loaded up for them. We probably should, should we load it full of tools before we go rip it out? That's how we said we were gonna do? Ben just said that would be a bad idea. <laughs> That's why I was like, we should do it when it's not, so like tools don't go ever, but you wanted to. Well, so we have to we test have to. it. We gotta make sure this thing. True. True. The I only way to test it is to make sure this sucker don't go yeah, flying. So, I like that. all right, well, let's bolt this sucker down. <laughs> You want to slide it a little towards my feet, towards the house? Oh, a little less. A little more. A little more which way? Uh, towards the house. A little less. Right there, right there. <laughs> just trying to center it up. <laughs> just ate that. He's getting sprinkled. Lucy, Lucy. You're not, right? you're not hoping. Am I hit? No, you're at the bottom of the threads. That screw's not threaded all the way. That bolt. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, well, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, we need a pretty short bolt, to be honest. Yeah. You got a wrench on it? Oh, I we, we can't. <laughs> that ain't gonna do it. much good, is it? Problem. Should I just try tightening her down so whatever? You got a thumb on it. I'll hold it Push as hard as I can. Yeah, you're doing it. It didn't even come close. It didn't even move. Yeah, it's just been the get I can't even get her off now. <laughs> How hard is it to bolt this thing down? You good? Ready. Good man, yep. Yeah. It's just flexing the metal. Alright, yeah. we'll go do the next one. Why Where's your little crawler at? Oh, well, yeah, now you tell to... me after I blew my back out. <laughs> I can... You're the one that bought this thing. Oh, oh. You got I, don't I, and I don't know if I can get up. What's wrong right now? I'm... Who's that? Macy, it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know <laughs> we were getting rolled up on. I was about to pop a cap off. You got a head and everything. Did you get in the head? I thought he was about to sit on the headrest. What are you doing? Oh, what the heck? This is nice. What did you do with your safety glasses? That's it. Wait, do I have glasses? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Woo! <She's> in. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Wait, what? It you're just, you're stripping it a little bit. I was holding just as tight as the other one. We need so. a bigger screwdriver. The, why is this taking four hours? Is my, is my question. <laughs> the one there you go. Go. All right, back this sucker out of here. You want to back it out? Yeah. Yeah. God, that hurts. Thank you. You're telling me. Oh, oh relax, man. Did you just put a belt to the face or what? Yeah, that's good. Not that's not his first time. <laughs> Are you in? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Oh, fuck. Jesus, are you see it? Oh, there goes the washer. There. Might have to put the old big old wrench over this so I can hold on to it. 
I don't even know what's going on right now. Let me know when you're ready. Go. Hey. Nah, I'm not even close to being tight. You, hold, you holding her? Yeah, he just got a grip on her. I think, think you were in. Oh, that was you were in backup mode. That was an R. There you go. Put her in drive. <laughs> that did it. That's tight. Now we're tight. That's tight. Yeah. Oh. Dear Lord. Right. How you feeling? A little shaving. Is this side on? Well, you were just flexing that bottom there. Oh yeah. yeah it's not What's really it's anything. It's not really anything you do about that. She, she ain't gonna go nowhere. This thing's probably pretty waterproof too. It's yeah, I think it, it should be. Yeah, it should yeah. be waterproof. Okay, 45 minutes later, we have the toolbox officially. It better be happy with this. I hope so. Okay, time to load this sucker up, Angel. Look at those nice new tools. I thought you would have like the foam inserts. You know? I know. I just thought about. I thought about we should put like a, a piece of foam in it. Yeah, on the bottom. Cool. Oh, what are those? What are those? Oh, those oh, oh, hang on now. All right, we got PL 400 too. We can glue them down. Oh, hang on now. You might. It's almost, oh. like, it, it's almost like it was made for it. You cut a little off, you probably won't even need glue. Now let's try this. I mean, that's better. At least they shouldn't be. Shouldn't be bou bouncing too bad. Good. Bingo. All right, let's load up the back. Shoo! All right, we got everything loaded up, Banjo. Reveal the vault. Let's see what well, we got. Essential toolbox. This is supposed to be quick access, power tools, hopefully waterproof. But this is like your daily driver box. I mean, we've got all the fencing pliers, all the tools you guys already saw. We added a little WD-40. We got screws. Is this? Oh yeah, we got duct tape. And then we even added just some extra little cut and pliers, just quick. Like, hey, you need to go grab something. You know, tighten something up. Quick little socket wrench. A bunch of little bunch of little stuff. Banjo wants to light it up and you got one of these guys. We got crowbar, staples, tiny little square. I mean this is a sledge from the, uh, it was the, what was it, a storage unit auction. So yeah, a couple of these guys, just a couple little extras. Take a couple tape measures. I mean again this is just quick, you're like hey grab that hammer. Boom, right here. But in the back, what's happening? Oh okay. We put foam on the bottom. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do we, do we show them that? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the white foam. Yeah, yeah, you saw that. Nice and quiet. Yes. So that's like your quick, fast, easy stuff. Now, what we're gonna experiencing today is something that happens every day, which is like, hey, the fence is broken. Boom. Open this, sling it open, grab this box, boom. This sucker right here has everything you need to repair fence. Two fencing pliers, needle nose, cutters, you got some fence staples. Then you can pop this bad boy out. You got gloves, zip ties, a cutting wheel that I guess it doesn't. Should that go over there? Okay. Uh, we got hammer, more pliers, some wire, more fence tables. Um, this is where you got your box cutters, your sharpies, I guess. So not there's some stuff besides the fencing supplies, but this is like your daily driver, daily driver, like very, very quick and easy. So you can just pick this bad whole thing up, and you can set it, carry it with you. For, oh, boom. Also, we got wasp spray. You gotta keep that on deck right here some more hammers bunch of extension cords a whole bunch of extension cords this guy we've got this is a air compressor so this can fill up any of the tires around anywhere basically it could be mule tires truck tires whatever so and it's battery powered which we already have the 20 volt batteries from the dewalt tools inside the front so a little air compressor action and we've got the t-post driver which is right under there it's a bunch of extension cords stuff that's like hey you know this extension cord needs to be longer shorter we're always running light we're constantly running lights and power to the different farm animal bins and areas and then we got this guy which is the all-in-one deal you want to you pull that out yeah. banjo you got it so this is like, you're looking for kind of a specific tool that you might not use every day. I guess, yeah, look at all that. Then we've got chains, extra pair of gloves, bunch of ratchets, your bungees, a belt in case that goes out, everything you would need. And again, if there's stuff that we're missing, Pop Beefcake and Nate can load this thing up. I mean, there's still room in these boxes, in that box. Should be everything you need. And guess what? The best part is, oh yeah, we got extra gloves in there, in another the lighter box. in the glove box. Yeah. Imagine that. The best part is, this thing is completely packed full of everything you need, and guess what? Bam! You got an empty bed, a clean bed. That way you can put 
your, you know, your feet in it, your buckets in it, whatever you need, Banjo. Are you excited? Yeah. Your deer. You can still take the sucker deer hunting. Yeah. And we got all the tools. So the farm hand rig for now is complete. Comment down below. What did we miss? What tool? We, we sat here for like 20 minutes. We're like, all right, what else? We got all these nice tools. Which ones do we use on such a regular basis that we need to make sure this thing has? And we can always add stuff, but this is slick. I like the black. It looks I think, good. I think it looks good. It looks like it's almost built yeah. for it. This is a machine. What's going on there? The windshield. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like Windex. What's that? Yeah, North Clorox? Is it? Oh, this is Windex. That's Windex. This one? Oh, for who <laughs> in the... Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. Well, everything's ready. Again, you have to comment down below. What did we miss? What else could you possibly need? Like, so we put a chain in there, like a toe strap. Might be the only other thing, but like we really aren't towing that much out. This thing is not really designed for that. Um, nothing really gets stuck around here either. So this sucker's ready. I think it's time. Jake's gonna go down to the farm. Cause of an issue that is a common issue, and maybe Banch and I don't know yeah. what the issue Where is, and we need to make sure this thing. Yeah. You want? Oh, yeah, where's the radios? radios. Oh, we have radios too. The old walkie-talkie action. Let's see it. Oh yeah. Are you too close? Can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah, over. Oh yeah, over. Yeah, yours doesn't work. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. Can I get a oh yeah, over? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, it does work. Okay, so Jake, Jake, you're gonna radio us. We gotta have the, we gotta have it parked in here, and we're gonna go down there. We gotta time how long it takes us to solve the problem that you create. Okay. You excited? Yeah. Okay, you guys stay yeah. tuned. That's just how farmhand work actually was. You just sat here and waited <laughs> for your call. It's like an emergency. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I'm guessing that is us for us to go. I heard fence. Should we head down? 10 4. All right. I'm broke. We're going, boys. Get your okay, like Dale. Go, Dale. Get out of here. Like Rick, Rick. All right, boys. Here we go. Here's your pliers, banjo. All right. Rick's pooping everywhere. Rick, pinch it off, Rick. Okay. Got the pliers. Yep, go for it. Not today, Rick. All right, good enough. Is it gonna come off? I think we're good. We're good. Dale, get your ass back in the pen. Stop, Dale. Dale. Dale, I'll beat your ass, Dale. Dale, get Dale. in the pen. Get in there, Dale. Time! From the time that I radioed you to the time Dale's back in the fan fix. That's pretty impressive. Listen, you have all the tools you need. That just looks like 20 minutes. Find everything in the shop? Yeah, by the time you find the wire, you find the pliers, Dale's find the gat. The yeah. It's the only thing we forgot. You just brought the gat? It would have been a lot faster if we would have brought the gat, yeah. Dude, this thing freaking peels out. It's, it's, it's pretty smooth. smooth. It's fast, yeah. yeah. It's super fast. So, there you go, Ralph. Just for you, buddy. Alright, well, we'll see you tomorrow when we surprise the boys. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, it is the next morning. We have the side by side or the six by six, I don't know what you call it, inside the shop. Again, fully packed with all the tools and necessities. So the boys are coming. Nate and Pop Beefcake should be here soon. They haven't showed up for work yet, so we put it in the, in the garage. We want to do like a big reveal, like the move that bus, but we just lift the garage up. So we're waiting on them. They should be here any minute. We're gonna surprise them. We've got it packed in the shop. In fact, it rained last night. You can see there's water on the windshield. And if you come over here. This thing is bone dry. There's no water in this thing. So I think our waterproof toolbox for the most part worked. Even the back one, I didn't see any water in this one. Again, we're not putting anything with electronics and stuff back here, but yeah, it's bone dry in there. So I think we're in business. We are in business with the ultimate farm hand rig. Again, you'll have to comment down below what else we could possibly add. What are we missing? But I'm excited to show the boys. Thank you. They're going to be jacked. You stay tuned. All right, the boys are here. You guys ready for the surprise? 
Yeah. Should we open the big door like a? Should we make this like an epic? That's what I thought. We okay, were doing. Go, yeah, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Don't, yeah. don't, no peeking. Does it involve badger eating badger or something again? No, there's no food, unfortunately. I know, I know, you guys are hungry. This is the new, this is the new rig. No just, way, a new rig. The new rig. It's only for you guys. No, it's, like a, it's, it's just specific, it's, specific to you. It's like quasi army. Oh, it's got six wheels. Yeah, oh yeah, I've never had one before. I've never, I've never had one before. You got an extra wheel. No way. Yeah. Is there a work box here. Oh yeah, and we load it up completely full. Oh. Of all the tools that we think you, I, we, you have to let us know if we miss anything we stayed here for like two hours like yeah, all right what else could you possibly need oh we did in the in the video jake went down and radioed us that there an, an animal got out and me and ban tried to go down there what was it two minutes jake uh, i think two, three minutes three. for us to wrangle the animal and fix a fence and we had to make sure he would create a problem and we didn't know what tool you needed so he put it to this test and we passed it took us a couple minutes wow, okay so you found that box so, so so this box is just for repairing fence so if in the instance that something gets out, this has everything, all your fencing pliers, cables, wires, gloves, hammers, staples, box cutters, there's Sharpies in there, crescent wrenches, cutters, pretty much everything. So this is just for, that's basically the number one problem we have, as you know, is fence. So that thing is a portable fence fixing unit. And then what else is what else is back there? I can't remember what you put in. Shelf, yeah. Oh, that's an air compressor. Air compressor. Yeah, so that takes that takes 20 volt batteries, which yep. if you have up front, you haven't seen that yet. But if anything has low tire pressure, you have a mobile station, bunch of extension cords because we're always needing those to run different wires, some different strings, some different fly, trap. fly traps. Never know, <laughs> never know when you got to refill the fly Where traps. Like what else is in there? T -post yes, driver. we got a brand new powder coated T post driver. That's it's ready. Nice. So you throw your T post back here. So the best thing about the six by six is we have all these tools but the bed is still completely clear yeah. so you put your t-post in there you put your wire you put whatever but all of your tools to like make it happen are That's are in there and it should be waterproof it rained actually last night and there was no water that got in it which was impressive and this thing has the dump bed so you can so you can still operate and work the way that you normally do but still have all the tools and not take up all the bed space so yeah i've never it's an odd six by six situation but i think the payload is like two thousand pounds so i mean you can put some weight in it yeah you we're can gonna, we're gonna load it up with cinder blocks today yeah we got a project where yeah that's so good gonna... and then the front the best part was the front it took us more time than i would like to uh, admit to get this thing rigged up but this, this is thing. a diamond plated waterproof toolbox and we went well i went on amazon they actually have a sale right now in case oh, you guys are curious. Here we go. And we bought brand new tools of everything. So we don't have to borrow from the shop because that's the problem. You guys have the shop tools and we need the shop tools or vice versa. We have the work tools and you have the shop tools. So we went ahead and bought every single tool you could <laughs> possibly <laughs> need. Compl brand spanking new. None of them have even hey, been used. It's all new. Torch. torch. It. So this is a 3-8 socket set that fit. Where's it at? You see it in impact somewhere? Oh, down there. It's a little, it's a little crowded in here, but. Right there, it's a brand new 3 8 impact. That is nice. And I got every, I tried to get everything that's like compact. So like you can see this impact is a lot smaller than the ones we have. So I wanted them really oh, small. Shit. We've got the staplers to put, you know, all your fencing up, stuff like that. There's crowbars, there's lighters, duct tape. This is heavy duty wire. If Rick's just, you know, you, this will stop him. He can't get through this. We got some of that. We're constantly using angle grinders right. to cut off fence. So we got a brand new one of these for wood. We've got circular saw. Nice. So, I mean, pretty much everything. WD-40, extra pliers. I mean, we even went and got two-inch screws that are for T25. And then we've even got some longer ones that are three and a half. So these, between these two, you can pretty much repair any board wood. Emergency use, essentially. You go down there, a goat's out, you need to fix a problem. This should have hopefully everything. Like I said, it, since it rained last night, there's no water in here. Oh, it's bone dry. It's bone, it's bone stinking dry. So you guys can add whatever. We, we went through and figured out what issues that we always have, how can we solve them, how can we do it fast. So if you have this rig, you shouldn't have to, have, have to come up to the shop. You should have everything Save you guys need. making trips and stuff. Yeah, so. back and back and forth. Is there any anything we forgot? Not that I can we tell. Tried, we tried we hard know. to remember everything. Is there anything that, I, I think we have like a little flashlight? A little flashlight. Yeah. If you had to go down, it's it, dark. Yeah, it's dark. Well, it, also this thing does have oh, well, uh, well, light bars. Uh, so you do have you do have some lights, there you go. Flip but the you'll six by six farm That's hand sweet, use man. only. It's dedicated to maintaining the farm. You guys like it? I love it, man. This is sweet. You can, you can give her a, give her a rip. Let's give it see, a rip. See how she drives. Yeah. It, it, I'll be honest. It drives a little rough compared to the brand new uh, side by sides we have. It is used. She's she's uh 
She's been appreciated before. Anyways, yeah, jump jump in and give her a rip. Let's All see right. it. Oh, yeah, by the way, it doesn't have an e-brake or parking brake. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, part part of the farm, I say part of the farmhand uh, thing is you guys might have to do a little bit of repairs on it. It just, like I said, it's, it's, someone else has already shown it a little bit of love. And, she's been loved. Yeah, she's been loved on, so. Oh, we got oh I forgot we got box. a bunch of new, brand new gloves. Gloves in the glove box. That way you, that way you never have to worry. Another lighter. We had threw pocket knives in there. We even got a radio in there. I mean, I think we got, look at that radio. Yeah. All right, go ahead and fire her up. I'm not sure we can even get out of here, but you can at least hear it. So this thing, it doesn't work. We'll have to work on that at some point. Uh, and then there's no, uh, there's no park. It's just reverse, neutral, high, and low. She's a little, she's a little jumpy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, looking good. Dude, I love the six by six. It just looks good. Like these boys look official now. I feel like they, look, they look like legit ranchers taking care of the farm. That look, it's they meant to be. Around. Yeah, it, it, like you see those two boys in a six by six, you know something's going down. I think they seem they seem like they like it, and they haven't even seen the full capacity of this sucker. We gotta load up the bed. I think that's the whole point of having a six by six, having a whole extra axle. But the reason I got it mainly was because I wanted the bed space that we have in a normal side by side. But look at the crew. You like, there's two beefcakes, okay, that run Beefcake Land Management LLC, okay, so. There's only two of them, so we don't need the crew cab. The crew cab could be for us filming. The problem is they always put their tools in the mule, and then we put our tools in the mule, and it always goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then they're like, where the heck's this? Who threw this out? And then I'm saying the same thing. So I wanted to give them a dedicated vehicle for land management. Look at that. Shoo! Oh, we need a horn. Oh, Where's the horn? We need a horn. Let's test the reverse mechanism. I say, are you off the brake? Yeah, I am. That's not bad. Oh, oh but you put it in reverse to keep yeah. it up. Okay, I see. So, so it's in reverse. It's in reverse, so it needs a little bit of we'll figure out the break, yeah, yeah, a little. It needs a little break in. Be like, crap! I can't stop! I can't stop! <laughs> we, yeah, we need a little but bit of something, brakes, but so. it's got brakes. It's just the parking. It at least runs. So yeah. nothing, nothing we missed. Not that I can tell. There was a chain in there. There was ratchet straps in there. There was bungee cords in there. I mean, you got everything. Mobile, mobile workstation. Yeah, that's that's the idea. And you guys add obviously whatever whatever else we forgot. But I think you guys will have to let us know what we missed. I'm sure we missed something. Somebody's been, gonna be saying that we, oh, one thing, one of those jumper packs. That's oh. one thing I forgot. A, a jumper pack, so if another battery is dead, or this one for that matter, because we don't know how old the battery is, to be able to jump start. We don't have jumper cables in there, but we have these little energizer packs. That was the one thing I thought of last night. I was like, what else could we do? So we'll have to add that. Other than that, folks, that's all we have. The new six by six farmhand rig is complete. We need a name for her. We feel like we, well, we haven't actually named any of our vehicles for a while, but this old six by six is so unique. I feel like we need to give her a name. So comment a name for the six by six in the comments down below. We will catch you on the next one and peace.